Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Got another Here journal for you. Here to See, focused on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. Ruth chapter 4. We've been reading through the entire book of Ruth, a chapter at a time, and doing a Here journal video on each chapter. Here journaling is a method that many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about here journaling. But now, let's read and listen to Ruth chapter 4 in the New Living Translation from the Version Bible app. Then I'll share my here journal with you. Chapter 4 Boaz marries Ruth. Boaz went to the town gate and took a seat there. Just then the family redeemer he had mentioned came by. So Boaz called out to him, Come over here and sit down, friend. I want to talk to you. So they sat down together. Then Boaz called ten leaders from the town and asked them to sit as witnesses. And Boaz said to the family redeemer, You know Naomi, who came back from Moab? She is selling the land that belonged to our relative Elimelech. I thought I should speak to you about it so that you can redeem it if you wish. If you want the land, then buy it here in the presence of these witnesses. But if you don't want it, let me know right away, because I am next in line to redeem it after you. The man replied, All right, I'll redeem it. Then Boaz told him, Of course, your purchase of the land from Naomi also requires that you marry Ruth, the Moabite widow. That way she can have children who will carry on her husband's name and keep the land in the family. Then I can't redeem it, the family redeemer replied, because this might endanger my own estate. You redeem the land. I cannot do it. Now in those days it was the custom in Israel for anyone transferring a right of purchase to remove his sandal and hand it to the other party. This publicly validated the transaction. So the other family redeemer drew off his sandal as he said to Boaz, You buy the land. Then Boaz said to the elders and to the crowd standing around, You are witnesses that today I have bought from Naomi all the property of Elimelech, Kilian, and Malan. And with the land I have acquired Ruth, the Moabite widow of Malan, to be my wife. This way she can have a son to carry on the family name of her dead husband and to inherit the family property here in his hometown. You are all witnesses today. Then the elders and all the people standing in the gate replied, We are witnesses. May the Lord make this woman who is coming into your home like Rachel and Leah, from whom all the nation of Israel descended. May you prosper in Ephrathah and be famous in Bethlehem. And may the Lord give you descendants by this young woman who will be like those of our ancestor Perez, the son of Tamar in Judah. The Descendants of Boaz So Boaz took Ruth into his home, and she became his wife. When he slept with her, the Lord enabled her to become pregnant, and she gave birth to a son. Then the women of the town said to Naomi, Praise the Lord, who has now provided a Redeemer for your family. May this child be famous in Israel. May he restore your youth and care for you in your old age. For he is the son of your daughter-in-law who loves you and has been better to you than seven sons. Naomi took the baby and cuddled him to her breast, and she cared for him as if he were her own. The neighbor women said, Now at last Naomi has a son again, and they named him Obed. He became the father of Jesse and the grandfather of David. This is the genealogical record of their ancestor Perez. Perez was the father of Hezron, Hezron was the father of Ram. Ram was the father of Aminadab. Aminadab was the father of Nashon. Nashon was the father of Solomon. Solomon was the father of Boaz. Boaz was the father of Obed. Obed was the father of Jesse. Jesse was the father of David. And that was Ruth, chapter 4, in the New Living Translation from the Version Bible app. Now for my hair journal. First the highlight, Ruth chapter 4, verses 13 to 17. Verse 13, So Boaz took Ruth into his home, and she became his wife. When he slept with her, the Lord enabled her to become pregnant, and she gave birth to a son. 
Then the women of the town said to Naomi, Praise the Lord who has now provided a redeemer for your family. May this child be famous in Israel. May he restore your youth and care for you in your old age. For he is the son of your daughter-in-law who loves you and has been better to you than seven sons. Naomi took the baby and cuddled him to her breast, and she cared for him as if he were her own. The neighbor women said, Now at last Naomi has a son again, and they named him Obed. He became the father of Jesse and the grandfather of David. So, what's my explanation? Ruth was blessed by the Lord with a son, Obed, who was the father of Jesse and the grandfather of David in the lineage of Jesus Christ, the Redeemer of the entire world. How does that apply to us today? We are all blessed as Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, born of a Virgin Mary and stepfather Joseph, both descended from David, just as the Bible prophesies predicted. Jesus came to set us all free from our bondage of sin and provide an abundant life for us through eternity. John chapter 10, verse 10 thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Matthew 1.1, the book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Romans 1.3, concerning his son who was descended from David according to the flesh. Isaiah Chapter 9, verses 6 and 7. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government, and peace there will be no end on the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time forth and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Luke chapter 1 verse 32 He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. Isaiah 9, 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. Government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. John 7, 42. Has not the scripture said that Christ comes from the offspring of David and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David was? John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. John 1.14 And the Word become flesh and dwelt among us and we have seen his glory, glory as the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. John 1.1 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So now, what's my response? Lord, thank you for my wonderful relationship with you. I pray for anyone that does not yet know you as Lord and Savior, that they will come to know you and abide in you always. Amen. Amen. Now, how about you? Why don't you try some hair drilling? Highlight, explain, apply, respond. You'll be so glad you did. Comment below. Share your experiences with us. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, read the Gospel of John chapter 3 to learn about His forgiveness and talk to God about it. 
Oh, he died for you. He's waiting for you. Seek him now. God bless.